Peanuts! Come on, you. There we go. No screw. So what you just saw was DJI Mavic Air 2S flying in active track mode, which basically means that the drone is using visual technology to follow me through all those paths and obstacles that you saw. So how it does is, is that this drone has lots of sensors. You got some on the rear, the underside, two in the front, and now with the 2S version, there are two extra sensors that point upward. So what this does is allows it to see in front of it, above it, beneath it, and behind it. So there are still some blind spots here, uh, the side it doesn't know what's what's next to it so what it'll do sometimes is it'll turn the camera sideways and kind of aim the front sensors to the side to see where it's going so it'll kind of fly like this and then detect what's going around so it doesn't run into something the other upgrade that dji added was this one inch cmos sensor that takes 20 megapixel stills my favorite part is the 5k video that's at 30 frames per second it also of course does 4k at 60 frame full hdr absolutely amazing sensor. So let's get into it and we'll start with the unboxing. Peanuts! Who ships with peanuts anymore? This is the worst packaging material ever. Ugh. Can you imagine the people that are allergic to peanuts? I found you! Come on, come on you! It's way smaller than I thought. Everything fits in this little box. Holy crap. So this is DJI's newest Air 2S, where they took the Air 2 and basically gave it a really crazy sensor. So there's like a tab on this side. There's a tab, right? What? Oh, it's underneath the shrink wrap. <laughs> See, this opens everything. Okay, so there we go. Come on, come on. There we go. So we got this awesome pouch with apparently everything in here. Somehow these accessories don't go in the bag. Oh, 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 look at that. It's so tiny. Even when you see it on the website, you know the dimensions. It's just when you hold it in your hand, it's a whole different experience. Look at how small that motor is. Here, let me grab a motor. I'll be right back. All right, so just for comparison, been a while since I've flown, but this is a five inch FPV racing quad. See how big this is? Holy cow. I mean, yes, this is folded up, but still the package is so tiny. Here's the five inch. This is a three inch quad. So even this guy, <laughs> that's nuts. So let's unfold it. Here's the comparison between an FPV drone and the Mavic Air 2S. Look at the size of the motor differences. This is a uh, 2205 motor, and this is even smaller. Anyways, let's just go through this real quick. This feels like batteries. This feels like their control. I mean, it is the controller. I can see through it. Here's the charging station. And, oh, okay, that, that's supposed to stay in there. I guess that's where your drone goes. So that's it. That's the inside compartment. Drone, controller, batteries. There's another pouch on the side here, but it's completely empty. I'm guessing the accessories go in here. Overall, the bag is not half bad. I'll probably use it for a little while. Let's see. So here's the controller. No surprises here. Feels really solid in the hands. Good grip on the back. And it looks like there's some, there's actually vent holes. Looks good. I know the joysticks are here somewhere. Here's the charging station. You charge three batteries at once. Let's open this battery. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's two and 
Oh, was that the bat? Where's the third battery? Oh, it's on the drone. Third battery's on here. <laughs> Looks like a very basic charger. So it still doesn't look like this battery charger has a storage mode. If you have one of these type of chargers, these are, they charge lithium polymers via um, connectors and balancing. Uh, these, you can actually take a battery that's completely dead after you don't, you've been done flying them, put them on here and only charge up to a storage level. That way you can store them for a long period of time and you won't have to worry about it degrading your battery capacity. However, I don't, it doesn't seem like there's any way to tell it to go to a storage mode. You probably charge it all the way full and then this self depletes to a certain level after some time. It, it's a little wasteful. I like to just set it to storage mode and I can put the batteries away for a couple weeks. I, I know some people fly every day. I, I haven't flown in five years. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I think this is a USB charger. You can plug this into here maybe? Yeah. All right, so you plug this into here and then you can charge two USB from this battery. Accessories. Uh, quick start guide. Yeah, I'll get to you. All right, look at this. What is this? Is this like a makeup mirror? Oh, okay, it's my ND filters. There you go. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of cables. Ah, here's my thumbsticks. Cables and props for days. Ah, look at that. A, B, A, A. It's not telling you blood type. It's basically explaining to you which propeller goes on which motor. I know this is correct because I always remember nose in, bottom out. So if you look at the top of the propellers and the nose of the drone, they supposed, they spin in. At the bottom of the drone, they spin out. So nose in, bottom out, kind of works for me. Now I'm curious, I wonder if you can, I don't think you can physically put them on the wrong motor. So let's try this. Oh, nope, never mind. You could totally put them on the wrong motor. <laughs> it does accept it. I, I swap these two and they slide right in. So you know, just pay attention to when you put it on there. So looking closely, these are uh, 7.2 inches with a pitch of 3.8. Not bad, 3.8, it's fairly quiet. So what's interesting is that they fit a seven inch prop on this small frame because the rear and the front props actually overlap right here but because they're on different elevations they get away with that so like on this fpv drone everything's in one continuous plane so if i were to run something bigger than a five inch prop there's no way that would work on this frame please charge to activate before using for the first time okay how does this come off i think you just squeeze oh look at that that's pretty cool okay now, what else do we got to remove? There's a whole bunch of stickers. There's just stickers everywhere. I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, I was like, why are there stickers on the side right here that I have to remove? But I think it's because when these are shipping, this motor might rub against here and they don't want you to receive a marred, um, a marred drone. So they put a little sticker on here to help with that. Press the notch to remove the gimbal protector before turning on the power. Okay, so this looks like it's a gimbal protector. Press the notch. Oh, first take off the sticker. Press the notch. Now that seems pretty cool. I wonder, are you like supposed to keep this? All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go charge this. Looks like there's three batteries on here, only one charges at a time. Once this is done, it jumps to the next one and the next one. And these two are just kind of waiting there. All right, so looking at the controller, it looks like this is where, this is where the phone goes. Oh yeah, look at that. And we got the cables right inside. So the phone goes in here and then the cable plugs right in on the side. Well, that's pretty nice. And wait, oh, there were sticks down here. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can take those out and put them in here. So I found the spare right away, but I didn't realize that the sticks were already down here. <laughs> Look at that. This charges your phone too? I didn't know that. Yeah, the plastic is pretty nice. I love the grip texture back here. It feels very comfortable. Oh yeah, look at that. And USB-C. Good work. I guess I gotta charge this and I'll play with this tomorrow. All right, so my house wasn't really great to test out some of the follow features, so I came to this open field to see what it can do. Okay, 
So we're gonna walk backwards with it. This is active track obstacle avoidance. Come on, you can do it, buddy. There you go. So, look at that, it navigates around that branch. We're gonna keep backing up. There's some small branches here. Wonder if it'll hit it. Nope, dodges it just right. All right, let's, let's speed this up. I'm gonna start running. And I'm gonna cut over here. Oh crap. <laughs> How are you gonna come through? That is insane, right? Holy cow. I think it gave up on me. It's like, screw you, you keep running me through these obstacle courses. I am ridiculously out of breath just from walking around like that. <laughs> so look at this. As I'm going under these pine trees, it knows where I am, actively tracks me, and then it uses its sensors to avoid the trees goes underneath and doesn't hit anything. This is all flown autonomously. Here you can see that it detects the tree to the right and moves to the left to kind of go through that little opening right there. Yes, I'm the idiot that's trying to crash his brand new drone. But hey, that's why I bought the DJI care package. Oh, look at that. Tiny little branch and it sees it. And here's just showing you how good of a stalker mode it has. I mean active track mode. So I realized that if you set the follow elevation too high, it kind of gets a little stuck in a tree. But Impressively, that was all done by the drone. I didn't do any manual input right there. And right about here, I start to lower it. That, so there's manual input here. I just wanted to bring it under the tree. And then I think I just turned around and started walking away. So now it's following me. Actually, it's more like bzz. Anyways, but <laughs> there's also this video by Jevin Dovey link in the description below. He basically goes through and tells you everything you could possibly need to know about the drone, how to set it up, what to do to get the shots you want, and like just all the great little details down to like color grading. So I'm gonna watch it. I think it's a fantastic beginner's guide and definitely go check it out if you have one of these. There you go, and that's it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.